Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. When you think of purchasing insurance for your medical practice, what comes to mind? For many physicians, malpractice insurance is considered the most important type of insurance to have. But as a business owner and a medical professional, there are actually seven different types of insurance you need in order to protect your practice from lawsuits, accidents, and natural disasters. General liability insurance protects you from being sued if someone injures themselves while at your office. You're also covered in the case of property damage and loss, like if a patient breaks their smartphone while at your office. Property insurance protects your office from damage due to fires, power outages, natural disasters, and break-ins. A business owner's policy provides discounted, umbrella-type coverage for small practices that meet certain criteria. Excess liability insurance will increase the amount of your general liability insurance in the most cost-effective way. Data risk insurance protects you in the case of a security breach and covers the ensuing costs of dealing with such a breach. Workers' compensation insurance will protect you in the case of employee injury on the job and will cover the medical expenses of the injured employee. Malpractice insurance will protect you in the case of a lawsuit while preventing bankruptcy and the loss of assets. You've worked hard to build and grow your medical practice, so don't leave yourself unprotected. Be sure to include these seven types of insurance when budgeting your medical practice expenses. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Making sure your medical practice is properly insured will protect you and your business from unforeseen events. Having proper insurance coverage protects you and your assets in the event of a lawsuit or malpractice suit. That's why it's so important to choose the right insurance for your practice. Medical malpractice insurance will protect you in the event that a patient makes a claim of medical negligence against you or your practice. It is important that you have enough coverage. Medical doctors need to meet state minimums for malpractice coverage. You should also consider the type of medical practice you are running, the value of your personal assets, and the monthly premium amount you are willing to pay. While numbers vary greatly between states and different hospitals, it is usually recommended for medical doctors to carry between $1 million and $5 million in medical malpractice insurance. As a medical doctor in a private practice, you must also carry insurance to protect your office and business. You will need property insurance, general liability insurance, workers' compensation insurance, health insurance for your employees, umbrella liability insurance, and cyber liability insurance. Depending on the size and type of medical practice you run, additional insurance may be required to protect against common catastrophes. Remember that your medical practice is a business. While malpractice insurance should be first on every doctor's mind, it is also crucial to obtain the various types of insurance common to all independently run businesses. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. There are three things to look for when choosing a medical doctor's insurance company. First, choose an insurance provider that offers ample coverage for both you and your medical practice. The company you choose should offer a variety of coverage plans that protect you in the event of a malpractice claim, liability claim, or other business-related insurance claim. For example, do not choose a company that offers $250,000 of malpractice insurance when the minimum amount of coverage required by many states is $1 million. Next, look for an insurance company with competitive rates. The amount of your monthly premium is an important factor in determining your choice, but you shouldn't skimp on coverage in exchange for a lower rate. Above all, make sure that you are protected in the event of an emergency or lawsuit. Finally, look for a medical doctor's insurance company that offers a one-stop shop solution for physicians like you. A thriving medical practice requires a variety of insurance types, from malpractice insurance and liability to small business insurance and data breach insurance. Look for a provider who can bundle all of these different types of insurances into one convenient payment. After researching companies that meet these three criteria, reach out to them for an insurance quote. 
Encourage the companies you're considering to compete with each other in order to obtain the lowest premium possible. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Insurance plays a big part in the daily operations of any small business. Like the average business owner, your medical practice needs coverage for everything from employee benefits to rental insurance. But in addition to choosing coverage for normal small business liabilities, medical entrepreneurs have to decide which types of medical insurance to accept from their patients. Over 90% of American adults use health insurance to cover their medical expenses. That means the majority of your practice's business transactions will involve getting paid through an insurance company. For this reason, it's important to understand the different types of medical insurance available to patients today. An HMO or health maintenance organization requires patients to see providers who are members of an HMO network. In many cases, patients need a referral before they can see a specialist. A PPO or Preferred Provider Network allows patients to see providers outside of their network in exchange for a higher fee. A POS or Point of Service Plan often requires a specialist referral but may also allow the patient to see an out-of-network provider for a higher fee. An EPO or Exclusive Provider Organization is similar to an HMO except patients usually don't need a referral from a specialist. Understanding the different types of medical insurance will help you decide which types of insurance you will accept in your practice and which insurance companies you want to work with. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Casualty insurance, also known as liability insurance, protects you and your medical practice from being responsible or liable for negligent acts. Workers' compensation is a type of casualty insurance. Malpractice insurance can fall under this category as well. It's important to note that casualty insurance is not connected to other forms of insurance like life, health, and property insurance. Instead, the sole focus of this type of insurance is to protect you from being held responsible for various acts or from a failure to act. There are three main types of casualty insurance. The first is general liability which protects you if an injury occurs in your office or on your property. The second is professional liability which protects you in case a mistake is made while performing your professional duties as a physician. The third is product liability which protects your practice in the case of product recalls and malfunctions. Casualty insurance is an important addition to your other insurance policies and will help protect your assets and your practice from financial ruin. Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Have you tried and failed to negotiate with insurance companies in the past? Negotiating the terms of your insurance contracts is one of the most challenging aspects of running a medical practice. In many cases, giant insurance conglomerates have the upper hand when it comes to negotiations. You need them more than they need you. But don't despair. It's still possible to negotiate your insurance contract and find common ground. No matter how powerful or intimidating the insurance company may be. First, approach the negotiations with a positive attitude. Fluctuations in the market affect insurance companies in cycles. Sometimes, unforeseen forces will help you achieve your negotiation goals, even if they appear to be impossible at first. Next, communicate specific contract goals with your insurance company. Which areas of your contract do you want to address? What is the specific outcome you'd like to achieve? And the minimum you'd be willing to accept? The most typical points for negotiation include fee schedules, termination provisions, multiple procedure discounts, and amended claim schedules. Finally, don't enter negotiations with an all-or-nothing attitude. Remember that because you are in private practice and the insurance company is likely a large corporation, they have the upper hand. Go for what you want, but always be willing to negotiate and compromise.
Get ready to unlock the mystery of growing a thriving medical practice. Sherlock Doc is here to help. Fraud investigation occurs when a state or federal agency suspects a medical practice of making fraudulent mistakes in their Medicare and Medicaid billing. A fraud investigator can be hired by a private company, the FBI, or the IRS to investigate possible fraud in your practice. Fraudulent claims and patterns of erroneous medical coding are likely to catch the attention of fraud investigators. Common scams that can result in a fraud investigation include billing for services not rendered, purposefully using incorrect codes to increase Medicare and Medicaid payouts, and submitting fraudulent claims. Healthcare professionals convicted of fraud can be fined hundreds of thousands of dollars, and in some cases, millions. Jail time is also a common result of a fraud investigation that is brought to court. In order to avoid a fraudulent investigation in your practice, you should follow Medicare guidelines whenever using management or evaluation codes. Ensure diagnostic codes are as specific as possible. Provide ongoing coding education for staff and physicians in your practice. Establish a compliance program and review any and all fraudulent related complaints as quickly as possible. One mistake won't land you in prison, but a systematic failure to follow Medicare's guidelines may spark the interest of a fraud investigator. Be sure you have a thorough understanding of the guidelines that must be followed before you open your practice. To learn more about medical billing, insurance, coding, outsourcing, and everything you need to establish a successful healthcare practice, follow all of Sherlock Doc's adventures on the DoctorsBusinessNetwork.com or Doctors Business Channel on YouTube.